deck of Uno cards. And the kids at Idaho School for the Deaf and Blind got to play with a deck. For some, it was their very first time playing Uno. Six on your side's Jessica Taylor joins us in studio to share uh, with the kids had to, to say about all of this. I'm guessing a lot of smiles. A lot of <laughs> smiles. The kids were super excited about the deck, and so were their teachers who say playing games is important for the entertainment component, but also the skills learned with the social interaction and turn taking. How am I going to know if it's blue? So there's, there's, a, there's a B for there's blue. A B for games don't usually have braille on them unless you put it on. So I think putting, putting things, putting braille on things like card games and Legos and stuff, that's a really good thing to do. Some of these middle schoolers are already big Uno fans. Now I'm playing a red reverse. Nope. No. Remember? But this is the first time they're playing with an official braille deck. I thought it was pretty cool. Going through a childhood or an adulthood without playing Uno is just, it's not possible. You can't do it. You have to have Uno in your life. For others, today was the introduction to the game. Durant, have you ever played Uno before today? This was my first time. Rough floor. It was pretty cool. It was awesome. The school has some games provided by the American Printing House for the Blind, but oftentimes they take on the responsibility of adapting popular games. So there are a lot of games that teachers have to hand braille to make it accessible. The students are hoping to see Mattel and other companies continue to create braille games. I'd want to see war in braille. Anything else? Poker. The teachers say this is more than a deck of cards. This can be a springboard to more accessibility and mindfulness from those in the sighted world. We might be limited in vision wise, um, but we would like to be included. We would like to be productive members of society. Um, and we would like to participate fully. And being able to just participate is half the fun. Winning is cool, but it doesn't really matter who wins because, you know, it just it's a fun game. Decks are available nationwide at Target for just $10, but they've been selling out. Uh, less common than you might think, and imagine never having the chance to play this popular card game. Exactly, and at the school, they take the time to hand braille certain games so kids can access those, but if a company produces it, it takes a lot less time and a lot less energy for the teachers, so it's creating more opportunities for kids at the school and outside of it. Poker next, maybe? Maybe poker maybe. next. That's what Durant wants to see for sure. <laughs> All right, thanks, Jessica.